Hey guys, how are you going? This is Billy Eat World, and this week I've been playing a lot with the Marksman kit in Insurgency Sandstorm. And so today I've got for you guys just a few tips that I've picked up so far that really helped me to survive and land a lot more of my shots. I mean, if you're already a half-decent sniper or a marksman in other games like Battlefield, well, you probably already have an understanding of a lot of these points. But with that being said, there are probably a few more differences than you might think. So whether you're a pro or just a noob, hopefully you'll all take something away from this video. All right, so to kick off, the first tip I want to give you guys for any sort of long-range shooting in Sandstorm is you really don't need to go overboard with scopes. And what I mean by this is at the moment the current maps in Sandstorm are reasonably big, but they're just not really big enough to warrant a lot of magnification. In fact, you'll notice I'm only using the 2 times Cobra in this video, which honestly was more than enough to take out just about any target I needed to in this game. And I think maybe I could have stepped it up to a four times or something, but I think especially with the focus mechanic, it's just not worth it, and you'll be much less effective in CQB if you do anyway. Now, speaking of CQB, well, another tip that'll really help you out with this is when you're moving around the map, don't use the obvious routes. And that's because if you do come head to head with a guy with an AR, unless you're really quick or you're really lucky, you are going to lose that gunfight pretty much every time. Basically, unlike in most other shooters like Battlefield, there's quite a serious penalty to your field of view when you scope in with even the low power scopes. And so basically, in Sandstorm, your best bet is to always try and get into a position to attack from the flanks, and if you do find yourself in CQB, well, back off straight away and then reposition. So moving on, the next few tips I want to give you guys are also on positioning, and firstly I want to talk to you about skylining and why it's such a dumb idea in this game. And what this is, is something you see all the time. It's when a sniper heads up to the nearest ridgeline and sets up on the very top, on top of a rock or something. Well, the problem is, doing this will basically ensure that you'll stand out like a sore thumb. And what that means is that you're instantly going to become a target for every enemy sniper on the map. And so, in a nutshell, if you really must take up an elevated position somewhere, first make sure there's something behind you to break up your silhouette, like a bush or a tree or something like that. Now, another dumb thing I see snipers and marksmen doing all the time, not just in Sandstorm, but in other games too, is positioning themselves too far forward in a window. And, I mean, sure, you can see a lot more from this kind of position, but it also means basically everyone else can see you as well, and they're going to be looking at the windows because that's where snipers are going to be, right? Snipers in real life actually try and avoid this by positioning themselves back from a window more into the centre of a room, and this is exactly what you should be trying to do in-game. And you'll find if you get used to this and you pick the right building, you'll not only still be effective, but you'll be able to survive a lot longer, especially if you're using a flash hider or a suppressor on your weapon. Now, obviously, you won't always have a nice, comfy building to keep you safe, and if you are interested in playing the objective at all, well, you'll eventually have to move anyway. And when you do, you'll find it's a lot harder to hit targets, because once that stamina mechanic starts to kick in, well, your weapon is going to start to sway a bit more. Also, another thing that's really annoying is when you come out of a sprint and you've got no stamina left, you'll find you'll have to wait a bit of time to be able to use the focus mechanic again. And so basically, this tip is a general rule I try and follow all the time, which is sprint when you know you're safe or when you really need to get across a road or something, but for the rest of the time, try and walk whenever you can. But finally, the last tip I want to give you guys is also related to movement, and that's to make sure, especially when you're a marksman, to take advantage of the stance modifier. And that's because, as you've probably noticed by now, the marksman rifles have a hell of a lot more recoil than the regular guns, and if you're not careful, that can make you miss some pretty simple shots. When you crouch or go prone, though, well, that recoil will be reduced quite a bit, so, as a rule, you'll want to at least drop to a knee to engage a target. But with that being said, just be careful, because when you run, it will automatically cause you to stand up. So if you're anything like me and you accidentally tap the sprint key when you try and move around, then that will obviously stuff up your shots from time to time. 
But anyway, guys, I guess that just about wraps up this video. So make sure you let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. And also, I'll be trying to make some tips and tricks videos on other classes in the next few weeks. So if you want to see a particular class, make sure you leave that down there as well. As always, though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also, don't forget, you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch with me. And as always, until next time, see you later and have a good one.